Do you remember when Meta went down for two hours last month? It affected billions of users and that downtime cost them around three billion dollars. And if you're now wondering why I started with this example, here is why. With the rise in demand for information and communication services and the rapid development of information society, maintaining a more resilient network to such outages remains the most desired factor worldwide. The example that I provided at the beginning was about the financial impact, but what if that outage affected an e-health system? Would the cost still be measured in dollars alone? Or would it extend to potential risks to human lives? Imagine a scenario where a critical e-health system experiences network failure during medical emergency. The consequences could be severe, underscoring the urgent need for fault-tolerant routing and high network availability. And that's precisely the problem my team is addressing in our research. We are focusing on IP fault-tolerant routing, specifically exploring first hoc redundancy protocols that are designed to overcome such issues, issues like default gateway router limitations, ensuring fault-tolerant routing and network redundancy. By eliminating single points of failure, we aim to enhance network reliability and provide high availability, particularly for critical sectors like healthcare. By improving fault tolerance and network performance, we are not just preventing financial losses, we are potentially saving lives in situations where network downtime can have life-threatening consequences.